Hey everybody, for those of you that don't know, my name's Hoopy, and today in the shop we're working on a Honda Foreman 520. And this thing is just in here for an oil change. It, I believe, might be the first one on this bike. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is just go ahead and get your seat out of the way. From that point, this whole big chunk of plastic here, it all comes off. It's just push pin on here. It just pops out in these places. And just like that, everything's out of the way. Pretty simple. This is probably about as easy as it gets. Um, Honda did keep their oil filters in the same spot they've pretty much always been. And right here, underneath this covers your oil filter. Down underneath your oil drain plug, 17 millimeter to take out the drain plug. So drain your oil, and then we'll pull this cover off, and I'll show you the filter. And up underneath the bike here, I'll try to get it in here for you. But in this hole right here is your oil drain plug. And that's a 17 millimeter. And as usual, always remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. And the oil's coming out. Something to note, make sure your washer comes off with that and stays with your drain plug. Some oil change kits give you new washers, some don't. It's all right to use the old one once or twice. I've never had any issues doing that. Um, this one did stay with the plug, so that's a good thing. After all that drains, we'll reinstall it. And when you put your drain plug back in, don't forget, don't over tighten it. This is aluminum, they will strip out. And uh, you can helicoil them. I've uh, seen several of them done, but it's it's just not a fun process. Just don't do it. And on your oil filter, there's three eight millimeter bolts to get this to pop off here. Do as I say, not as I do. Do not use power tools for this, but I do to remove it. So. After you move those screws out of there, this just pulls off. Some kits will give you a new O-ring for this. If you get a filter from Honda, they will not. You have to buy it separate. But on your filter, when you pull it out, there's an O-ring on this side. This side faces the cover. The other side does not have one. Inside here, you will find a spring. Make sure that that spring stays in there. If it falls out, put it back. And your filter will say, outside toward cover. It tells you on there. And I like to stick my filter onto this cover because it'll center itself. You can kind of just hold it there with your finger. Stick her up there. She goes right back on. Make sure your O-ring pops in there too. Wonderful. Love when that happens. And as I said, do not use power tools for this. Remember, this is aluminum. These are tiny bolts. They will break. And everything's an O-ring seal, so it doesn't have to be overly tight. And like that, we're done with the filter. And just me, I like to clean stuff up with a little bit of brake cleaner. Just to get the oil off of the customer's bike. And over on the other side of the bike is going to be your dipstick and oil fill. And this bike holds right at about three quarts. Now 
after you dump your uh, roughly three quarts of oil in here, uh, remember this is a Honda. To check the oil in these, you just stick it on and pull it back off. And we are right at the full mark. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on there and fire the bike up real quick. And we'll do one more quick check here. And right on the full mark. Well, after you get all that done, put your plastics all back on and your seat back on, then you need to reset your check or your uh, change oil light. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. If I'm not mistaken, you hold the button in and turn the key on. Yep, there. And that wrench flashed and went away. And now your oil life should be reset. Let's see, 600 miles till oil change number two. And then after you do this again, I believe the number two should go away and it should just be a wrench, but I, I could be wrong. I can't completely remember. 100 hours and 600 miles. We're good to go. Oh, there you go. There's your uh, oil change for a Honda Foreman 520. This should uh, apply to the 500 as well. Um, everything should be the same. The Rubicon might be a little bit different, but uh, aside from that, there you go. If you guys like videos like this, go check out the rest of my channel.